When severe weather impacts the Wabash Valley, we see watches and warnings issued, giving us time to seek shelter. But when the natural hazard moves from the sky to below the surface, we have to prepare in a different way. Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe walks us through why we need to know what to do in case an earthquake strikes. Images of destruction still sit heavy in our minds. The loss of life and property caused by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Nepal reminds us of the power that lies just below the Earth's surface. While the Wabash Valley has only seen six earthquakes of a 7.0 magnitude or higher in the past 12,000 years, smaller quakes are much more common because of our geographical location. Most people like to talk about the New Madrid seismic zone, but of, more, but of a greater concern is the Wabash Valley fault zone. And that runs through southern Illinois and terminates in southwestern Indiana. Walter Gray with the Indiana Geological Survey was on the campus of Indiana State University today with an earthquake simulator. It helps to prepare communities throughout the state for what could happen if an earthquake hit. We're now at a magnitude 5.5. This is when pictures and mirrors fall from the wall. Bookcases, china cabinets will turn over. All your food and dishes will come out of the cabinets. It's going to get really loud. Do not run outside. Gray stressed to drop, cover, and hold on. Do not move until the shaking stops. We tried out the simulator ourselves. Right now, we are experiencing a 3.0 magnitude earthquake inside the simulator. It might not seem like much, but the most recent 3.0, which is the lowest level that humans can feel, was back in 2012, just north of Vincennes. On average, our area experiences one earthquake every four and a half years. Since earthquakes are nearly impossible to predict, the best thing to do is know your risk. The Midwest is second only to the West Coast when it comes to earthquake hazards. The main thing to know is what to do in case you feel the ground move beneath you and have supplies ready. You should have enough food and water to last anywhere from three to five days. You know, in other words, be self-reliant for that period of time because it will take time for relief agencies to organize and mobilize and provide of the support services that they're so good at providing. Gray says that earthquakes are definitely in the future for the Wabash Valley. Even though our building codes and structures are built to withstand smaller quakes, being prepared for a significant event will help detour major damage and disruption of this powerful natural disaster. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Curtis Akers, Lindsay Monroe, News 10. While earthquakes are not predictable, geologists look at the history of seismic activity in an area to determine their frequency. A new stone follow-up 